Hi friends, hello and welcome to Competitive Kira. Now the IBPS Clerk Mains exam is over and you have one more exam coming ahead that is the RRB NTPC. We are going to discuss some questions today from General Science which are very important for the RRB NTPC, SSC CGL and many other competitive exams. And when we are talking about RRB NTPC we all know how important this General Science section is. So without any delay let's move to the first question. See which blood group is known as the universal donor? So the answer here is blood group O. Here another question can come that which blood group is known as the universal acceptor? So the answer here will be blood group AB. Sometimes you may get confused between both of these. So you should remember like this the acceptor A. So the answer should be AB. And donor it has O. So the answer would be O. Now let's move to the next question. Pigmentation of skin is due to what? So friends remember melanin is the pigment. Okay. Melanin. This is the pigment due to which the skin gets its characteristic color. And this pigment forming cells are known as melanocytes. So melanocytes give rise to this melanin pigment. Leukemia is the disease of what? So the answer is here blood. What is it actually friends? It is a type of cancer that usually begins in the bone marrow. And, and what happens in this case? It results in a high number of abnormal WBCs, white blood cells. There is an abnormal rise in the number of WBCs in comparison to the RBC. So this is called leukemia. Now the membrane around vacuole is called what? So friends let us first know what is a vacuole is and what is its function. So it is a membrane bound organelle and its main function is to separate the waste products of the cell and isolate it from the rest of the organelles. It is also helpful in removing the unwanted toxic material. So its main function is removing the toxic material and keeping the waste materials isolated from the rest of the organelles. So the answer here is tonoplas. It is the membrane around vacuole. Now the next question, if in a human sperm 22 plus Y fertilizes an egg 22 plus X, the sex of the fetus shall be what? So friends, this chromosome part, this is a very interesting part of biology, important and along with that it is interesting also. So we have to remember here that human females have two XX chromosomes, okay, and uh, male possess a XY chromosome pairing. Okay, so female has XX pairing and male has a XY pairing. So what happens whether a person has XX or XY chromosome that means it is male or female is determined when a sperm fertilizes an egg. So in this case 22 plus Y 22 plus X so it will give rise to a XY combination that means it will give rise to a male fetus. Now oology is the study of what? So here the answer is bird sex. There is a study of everything. You cannot remember all of those. But still some important things you have to remember. Like it is the bird's eggs oology. If it is bird then what is it? It is called ornithology. Okay. It is called ornithology. If it is insect. Insect then it is called entomology. Okay, entomology. If it is reptiles, then it would be herpetology. Likewise, you have to remember. Now, plants get water through the roots because of which feature? It is the capillarity. Capillarity action is the ability of a liquid to flow in a narrow space without the assistance of or even in opposition to external forces like gravity. So, plants get water through roots because of this one, capillarity. Now the central control of respiratory activity in human body is exercised by what? It is the medulla oblongata. It is the direct question. Now the red blood cells are produced by what? It is the bone marrow. The strongest bone of body is present in which part? This is thigh. It is present in thigh and it is known as femur. And where is the? Strongest muscle present, it is the jaw muscle. Okay. 
Now the next question, normal blood pressure of human is what? It is 120 by 80 millimeter of mercury and this 120 is the systolic pressure and this is the systolic pressure and this one 80 is the diastolic pressure. Diastolic pressure, okay. So what is this systolic pressure and what is this diastolic pressure? When your heart beats, na, it contracts and pushes blood through the arteries to the rest of your body. This force creates pressure in the arteries and this is called systolic pressure. This happens during the heartbeat time. Okay. But diastolic pressure, it indicates the pressure in the arteries when the heart rests between both the beats. So while in rest, it is the diastolic pressure and while it contracts it is the systolic pressure who is the father of biology this is aristotle okay and uh, you can see who is the father of botany it is botany if you are saying it is theophrastus okay so father of botany is theophrastus and who is father of geology it is same as father of biology aristotle only now the deficiency of vitamin A causes which disease? These questions are very important. It comes very frequently. Vitamin A, it is night blindness. And if it is vitamin C, then the answer is curvy. This comes very frequently. I am saying it again. And if it is D, then it is rickets or osteomalacia. These are some common diseases which appear in the exam again and again. Now, AIDS virus destroy what? AIDS virus destroy the lymphocytes. And what does AIDS stand for? It is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Okay, and which is the AIDS day? It is December 1st. These questions can come. So, when you are answering one question, try to relate it with different, different questions. Okay, so the answer here is lymphocytes. Now, most of the plants obtain nitrogen from the soil in the form of what? So, the answer is nitrate. It is NO3 minus. Okay. Now, scurvy is caused by the deficiency of what? We have already discussed it. It is vitamin C. Who discovered vitamins? It is F.G. Hopkins. And friends, remember, he also, in 1929, he got Nobel Prize for discovering the vitamin. F.G. Hopkins. Okay. Now, mycology is the study of what? This is fungi. And virology is the study of virus. Bacteriology is the study of bacteria likewise. Which is the physical basis of life? This is protoplasm. And who said this? Scientist Huxley has declared that protoplasm is the basis of life. Now the last question, what is myopia? It is short-sightedness or near-sightedness. And what does happen in this case? Close objects appear clearly but fair objects are not so clear. So this is short-sightedness. That's all for today friends. We'll, we'll bring another section in the next video. Till then, try practicing these questions of general science, polity, etc. And if you are having any doubt, you can mail us or you can comment in the YouTube section also. And if you are watching our channel for the first time friends, then please subscribe us. And any doubt, any query, you can mail us at competitivekida at the We will be replying you for sure. Thanks a lot.